hello and welcome back again uh, this is the second part so we were talking about the preservation by the sugar oil vinegars so we use oil and vinegar to preserve spoils of uh, the speakers because of the bacteria cannot live in such environment vegetable fruit fish and meats are often preserved by this method now heat and cold treatment so you must have observed that your mother boiled the milk right before it's stored or used boiling kills the many microorganisms which present in the milk so we keep our food in the refrigerator low temperature inhabit inhabits the growth of the microbes now pasteurized milk can be consumed without boiling as it is free of harmful microbes so the milk is heated to about 70 degrees celsius for 15 to 30 seconds and then suddenly chilled and stored by doing so it is prevent the growth of microbes present in the milk and the process was known as uh, the pasteurization which was d discovered by the Louis Pasteur. Storage and packing. So these days the dry fruits and even the vegetables are sold in the sealed airtight packets to prevent the attack of the microbes. Nitrogen fixations. Right. So you have learned about the bacterium rhizobia in class 6 and 7. It is involved in the fixation of nitrogen in a leguminous plant. Recall that rhizobium lives in the root nodules of leguminous plant, such as the bean and peas, with which it has a symbiotic relationship. Something nitrogen gets fixed through the actions of lightning. But you know that the amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere remains constant. So wonder how this happens. It is known as the nitrogen cycle so our atmosphere has a 78 percent of nitrogen gas and nitrogen is one of the essential constituents of all living organisms as a part of the protein chlory chlorophyll nucleic acid and vitamins the atmospheric nitrogen cannot be taken directly by the plants and animals certain bacteria and the blue green algae present in the soil fix the nitrogen from the atmosphere and convert into compounds of the nitrogen once the nitrogen is converted into the this enable compound it can be utilized by the plants from the soil through their root system nitrogen is then used for the synthesis of the plant proteins and other compounds animals feeding on the plants get this protein and other nitrogen compounds when the plants and animals die bacteria and fungi present in the soil converted the nitrogenous waste into the nitrogenous compound to be used by the plant again so certain bacteria convert the some part of them nitrogen gas which is go back into the atmosphere as a result the percentage of nitrogen in atmosphere remains the same or constant here is the picture of in 2.10 the nitrogen cycle 